Hi everybody, it's Miss Simpson here. I hope you're well. In this video we're going to learn about woodblock printing. So what is woodblock printing? It's when you take a piece of wood and you engrave it with an image. That means you carve out an image. The woodblock is then covered with paint and you press paper into it and that paint will transfer and your image will be on the paper. Artists are then able to reuse that wood block over and over again to make multiple prints. The Chinese began using uh, blocks of wood to make prints long, long ago. And then a little over a thousand years ago, the Japanese started to make wood block prints for printing as well. That's a pretty long time ago. At first, this was the way we printed books. So this was before the printing press and they would use the blocks to carve in words and print text. Eventually, artists started creating beautiful images from wood blocks and incorporating multiple colors. Let's take a look at how wood block printing works. When I was starting out, you know, doing printmaking in Tokyo's print studio, uh, Hokusai is one of the artists that, you know, unavoidably you will encounter and then get impressed. The Great Wave is one of the most well-known series Hokusai did. The you know, composition is very striking. You first pay attention to the wave on the foreground, but if you see Closely, you soon notice that a bunch of people on the boat. And then your attention is drawn into the tiny, tiny Mount Fuji. Ukiyo-e, it's a style and then a process developed in the Edo period of time in Japan. It's a very casual, you know, form of expression back then. They meant to be printed in a large number and then distributed to reach to the mass. And it's not just only that the single prints, but uh, it could be like a book format as well. Even when I was very small, I was so fascinated about those images, you know, and I couldn't really explain why. What I'm doing for myself is essentially using a characteristic effect I find in uh, ukiyo-e prints. You just start by using a paste, you know, uh, smear all over the blocks, and then, um, you know, you made side facing down. And then once glue is sort of dry, and you remove the most of the fiber until you see the, you know, line clearly. I guess it's kind of like a therapeutic process, because then you're alone. And then you just hear the sound of, you know, carving. Though that the subject matter is entirely different from those oxide data, obviously. I came from this tradition and I still see the possibility and then uh, I still see the uh, use of it. There are some specific beauty that you can only convey using this printing technique. The Hokusai is uh, inspired not just only me, but uh, many people, I think. I mean, you'll be surprised if you see different, you know, subject matter he uh, treated throughout his long life. The Great Way by Hokusai is so iconic image, I mean, if you can actually pick it up with a hand, you can take a close look on the texture on the paper. I mean, you have an indentation on the surface, you know. Those are the kind of things you can only really tell if you take a really close look. It's just that universal appeal to it, you know. I think that's also could be said about the ukiyo-e image in general. Printmaking is all about repetition in a way. You have to be a certain kind of person to be able to do that type of job. 
it's very restrained, you know, and then it's very, in a way, stylized. And then you have to follow that right path. But uh, sometimes restriction creates more freedom. It's kind of contradiction, right? Because it's very expressionistic, but at the same time, when All right, so you got to learn a little bit about woodblock printing in Japan and see how woodblock prints are created. Did you see how he used multiple colors? You need multiple blocks of wood for that. Each piece of wood would have something different carved or engraved into it. So you have to make sure that your different blocks line up to be able to put the print all together and have those layers of color. Now you can take a look at the British Museum in London and go through their Japan exhibit and you can see all these beautiful woodblock prints. So you're able to just walk through here, you'll get the link, and take a look at the different forms of art and especially pay attention to those woodblock prints. When you're done, go ahead back to the Google Classroom assignment and say one thing that you find interesting about woodblock prints.